With names like Wobble, Cupid Shuffle, and Cha Cha Slide, it has become the surefire way to get a party started or your wedding guests on the dance floor. Was it, what is it about line dancing that makes people want to move? We'll talk to a couple who knows a thing or two about it. Washington Full Circle starts right now. From the beginning of time, dancing has been a way for people to socialize, communicate, and just have fun. From the waltz to the tango to the twist, dancing defines generations. But it seems like no other dance gets people to the floor like line dancing. And here to talk about the phenomenon are Deidre Seabrook and Reginald Garcon of DR Soul Line Dancing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank welcome you. Welcome and thank you. Well, I, I feel like I didn't get the memo, but I, I decided to match regardless. So, I mean, I'm glad that I came <laughs> prepared. Thank you very much. Well, thank good. you very much. So, talk to me about the creation of DR Soul. You know, who's who who, or what was the inspiration and, and how did it come about? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we have been dancing um, a couple oh, wow. years. Okay. Yeah, for a while. And um, it just got to the point that uh, we, we started thinking about, well, let's branch off and do, do our own thing. So okay. it was just a matter of uh, identifying having a space and getting things started. And I just remember it sort of happening right before the beginning of a new year. So it's been a couple couple of years since okay. since we started and just after our discussion we were able to find a space okay. and then w we didn't know what what it would be like right. in, in terms of you know uh, getting students to come and, and whatnot but once we started it it, it just it, it was just, just a seamless process and um, students came and then we, we just started doing more and more uh, not only uh, cl classes but also just activities within the community so is there like a line dancing community that most people may not know about? Like, <laughs> is there, are there parties that have line dancing specific? Like, talk to me about this. There's thing. a big line dance community. Okay. And this DMV area, which encompasses Maryland, D.C., and Virginia, mm -hmm. we network. Okay. All right. We travel. Okay. Because there are events in a lot of different cities. Mm -hmm. And we even go out of the country. Wow. Yes. So it's a big line dance community, and it's about networking with the community and getting people out to enjoy themselves, right. the social part of it, okay. the physical part of it. Was it was it difficult to to generate a buzz, or were you also well known in the community that once you all started DR Soul, that people began to say, you know what, Deidre and, and Reggie are doing their thing. Let's figure out how we can get on board with what they're doing. Well, we started out line dancing. I started out a little bit before Reggie did. Okay. And we were with a group called Love to Dance. Okay. And once Love to Dance disbanded, the lady who started it sort mm -hmm. of retired, so right. to speak. Okay. And um, we just decided to continue classes. Right. So with the classes, someone came one day. We have what we call the UC Star Awards, okay. which is the Academy Awards of Line Dancing. Nice. Every year in Baltimore, the end really? of January. Correct. Huge event. Wow. And um, about how many people do you, would you say attend this this competition? A couple of thousand. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's a huge event. And so um, the man who does that event came one day to collect money for registration. Right. It was like, you know, what's the name of the you know the, the group? I said, right. well, it's just a class. What's the name of the class? I said, we don't really have a name. Mm -hmm. And so he goes, you just need a name for your class. And I said, okay. And Dr. Garcon right. had just <laughs> recently gotten his doctorate. Congratulations. So a D and doctor. R, which was D and Reggie, right. but I didn't want the period in between right. because that was like a homage to him. Right. So DR Soul came about. But we were line dancing for a while, and then the community began to get bigger. And yes, wow. people did know us. And as it evolved, you started getting more and more groups people wow. with names and right. everything right. and um, that's how it materialized but it's a huge community. It, it, it sounds like like you know from fruition to now the, the growth has been expansive and explosive over time you know when when going into the classroom what is it that you look to to 
to give your students or have them walk away with? Uh, first thing is just fun. Fun, uh, just an opportunity for them to be active. Mm -hmm. uh, because definitely uh, you could be as low impact or high impact when it comes to line dancing. Right, right. So even if, you, if you're doing a beginner dance, you could always find other things to I increase right. your activity level, whether it's how you're using your arms and, and, and the intensity by okay. it. So uh, first and foremost, it's very important for them to be active, mm -hmm. have fun, um, j and enjoying the camaraderie that we have just within the class, okay. knowing that it's okay to mess up. Right. It's a learning process right. because the more you are familiar with different dances, if you're out at a function, mm -hmm. you can at least get up, right. do a couple of steps so you can feel part of the group and not feel so tempted to just sit down and watch. Right. You, you can right. be an active participant. Right. Interpretational. Right. Dancing is interpretational no matter what type of dance you do. I love because that. it's how you interpret it, right. how you choose to do it at that time. Interpretational seems inspirational because I think most people would think about uh, interpretational as in a sense of liturgical, but mm -hmm. it, this, this seems like it's another way for people to kind of exactly. like drive into their own form of, of communicating exactly. through dance. Uh, agreed, because you could learn the basis of a dance, mm -hmm. and then once you're on the dance floor, if you want to add a little flavor, do a little shake here or there, you it's can just move. at your discretion. But the most important thing, you got the basis of the dance, and then you just add your flavor to it. We're going to talk about that flavor in a minute. <laughs> okay. Don't go away. We're going to talk a little more about line dancing before we hit the dance floor. Washington Full Circle, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Washington Full Circle. We're talking about line dancing with our guests, Deidre Seabook and Reginald Garcon. Now, we just saw a couple of interesting clips, mm -hmm. two different styles. Let's talk about country line dancing because I think many people would think or suggest that that's more popular or more in demand. But, you know, where does that fit in into the, the scene of things as well? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily more popular. Mm -hmm. What we found with country line dancing in the soul line community, mm -hmm. we take a lot of their dances, put soul music to it, right. and we do their dances. And what's happening now, because soul line community dancing has become so popular, mm -hmm. they are doing the same thing. And it's not necessarily country, it's more so progressive. Because like okay. when you go to a country line dance event, you have more pop music. Right than country right, that right, they're exactly. doing now. So it's progressive line dancing. So we're, we're mingling, we're intermingling. So do, do you all, uh, in, in the sense of co-mingling or, or intermingling, uh, are there some country line dancing groups that come in to uh, your competition and, and do you all have a competition where, or teams that go into some of the country or progressive line dancing? There are some events <coughs> where they have competition and yes, you will see soul and progressive line dancing. Okay. So like I said, it's, it's, it's great because it's evolved so much right. that it's allowed everybody to come in to the line dancing, right. seniors, right. Children, right. so it's 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 great. I, I mentioned to you earlier that I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, mm -hmm. right? So you know, there's a whole bunch of family reunions with my sure. cousins, aunts, and uncles down there. 
where where does the inspiration for the the particular line dances like the wobble and the cha-cha slide originate? You know, where where do those things come from? Where where is the inspiration from that? Do you know? Well, from what I know of line dancing, a lot of how I got started, mm -hmm. I learned from the Philadelphia area. Okay. Such as the wobble. Right. <laughs> which is a dance called Nasty Girl. So the wobble uh, originally was Correct. the Nasty Girl. Correct. Interesting. Correct. Okay. See? And the music was changed out. See, this is this is history here. History. I, yes, definitely. I, I would I wouldn't know that. So let's talk about that. So electric slide would that be considered the first urban or progressive line dance or like no. what would so because that's the most popular, most common oh, God, known. Okay. But what do you think would be the first one? Oh the my Madison? gosh, the Madison. It, like that's old. There's a, which was something. I think what like the 20s or the 30s. Really? Yeah. yeah. And what kind of music did did they dance the Madison well, to? Well, that was um, and you'll find this with certain line dances mm -hmm. in which it sort of tells you the steps. Okay. You're so just like right. the Cupid Shuffles right. will tell you move to the left, move to the right. right. The Madison was something similar in terms of it was telling you which steps to do okay. at a particular time. Okay. So you have uh, that pool of line dancing which is more instructional ver based on the verse okay. and then the, the other ones would just be more of based on the music, the choreographer would okay. interpret how they he or she may feel to to move a particular way and then you know it's a series of steps that repeats throughout right and, and i want to get to the music in a second but for someone who doesn't necessarily have a dr soul in their area where would they be able to learn the new or latest line dance oh L lots of we different have, places yeah we have two systems we have what we call the line dance information system Wow. Which was okay. started by a young lady, Nicole Points, out of Detroit, Michigan. Wow. And then we have Happy Feet Soul Line Dance, okay. which was created by a lady named T out of Philadelphia. You go to those both websites, mm -hmm. you can key in whatever state you're in, and the information will come up with a list of line dance classes, what? events that they may have going on, line dance videos. So literally, this is a community of people around the country, around, around the world, the, definitely. as you said Correct. before. Definitely. That's amazing. And, and the fact that so many people don't know that this community is as widespread as it is. I mean, you said there are international competitions going on. And so let's talk about the music. The DJs uh, who are in, like, are they the ones driving the line dances? Are the individuals then talking to the DJs and saying, hey, this is the kind of music, this is the kind of sound I'm thinking? How does that work? Yeah, what happens is regular DJs, mm -hmm who DJ parties, they know Wobble, Cupid Shuffle, certain dances, and okay. they're becoming more hip right. to what's going on in the line dance communities right. now. But for the most part, we have our own personal DJs wow. who literally DJ line dance events. Okay. So they know what we're doing. They know the latest dances that are coming out. Because okay. anything that's on the radio now, Can be, someone yes. may create a dance to and there you really? have a you have a dance we're gonna have to figure this out i'm gonna have to connect with some of you guys djs sure. and start my own kind of thing yeah. going on. Yeah, not a problem coming up we can show you better than we can tell you a little line dance demo when washington full circle continues Welcome back to Washington Full Circle. We have moved this segment to the wood as Deidre and Reggie have taught me these new phrases. Uh, to help assist us in this performance, we have some of our own DCN All-Stars. We have Judy, Cheryl, Marsala, Robin, with Matt, don't hide Matt. We got Matt in the building too. We got Matt in the building as well. And as Deidre spoke uh, earlier, they, they do classes and, and Reggie and Deidre brought some of their line dancing community friends to come by. Introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Gwen Purcell and I'm from Harmony Hall, which, where we are a senior okay. group where age is an attitude. Okay. And I tell folks. Age is an attitude. Absolutely. <laughs> we're, usually we're 60 and over. I'm 75. Okay. And we 
I tell folks that I can't dance, but I can count to eight. I facilitate and I always bring someone in to demonstrate. All right, and, all right. Okay. <laughs> and if you mess up, just catch up. All right. right. That's what I'm talking about. That'll be me uh, okay. today, catching up. So make it till you make it. Make it. it. That's right. it. Thank That's you. Right. Well, and where are you all located? We're work located in Fort Washington okay. on Livingston Road at okay. Harmony Hall. Good stuff. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is Will Baker. I'm with Toast Up Productions, and we're out of Maryland and Virginia. Okay. Um, with Fast Eddies, every first Saturday of the month, we do a free line dancing from 3.30 to 7.30. And, and Deidre was telling me that you do some coaching or you're teaching oh, as well I'm around also, the country, around I'm the world. a choreographer also. I teach See? dances. I'm going to Cancun in October okay. to uh, facilitate a line dance class. So. It's fun. And you get on the floor and have fun. This is about having fun. Good stuff. Justin. Well, so a as, as you teach in Cancun, that means that, you know, spring break ain't just for the college and high school oh, kids. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Reggie, DJ, we are in your hands, so you tell us what we do next. And uh, the DC and All-Stars, we're just going to follow in, in line. Sure. This dance is called Well, Well, Well by Wendy Shorter and Fabian out of Nebraska. And I'll quickly w walk through the steps. Sure. First, you're going to walk to the right on four counts. Okay. So it's right, One, left, two, right, three, left, four, to the left. Nine, two, three. One more three, time four, to the right. One, two, three. And two, left. One, two, two three, three, four. four. Next step, you're going to walk back uh, on four steps. Kay. You're going to step back right, One, then left, two, then right, three, then left. Four. Okay. Okay. All right. Next step, we're just going to double it up. So All it's right, right left, Right, left, right, or cha cha left, right, cha cha cha. Oh, one, two, one, two, three, and left, right, one, two, three. How we doing? Dance is right, almost all over. Right, all right. The next step, you're gonna take your right foot. It's out and kick, out and kick, out and kick. You're gonna do that for eight times. Out and kick. Okay. And then the last step of the dance is a freestyle on an eight count. So whatever you wanna do for eight counts. You do it. And then the dance starts over with the walk. Well, well, well. well let's try it out. We're going to see how this works out for us okay. all. Okay. <laughs> Feel the music. Walk back on the right. Step back. Step back. Double it up. And right. Two. One, two, three. Two more times. Now out and up on the right. Step out and up. And kick. Out and kick. Four more times. Now freestyle. It counts. Freestyle. 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 Start over on the right, walk it out. There you go. <laughs> and left. Left, walk back on the right. Double it up. Right, left, cha cha cha. Right. Now out and up. Out. Four more times. Freestyle. 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 Hey, walk it out. There we go. Y'all looking good. My DC also right back there. Hey. <laughs> hey. Take it back. Double up. Right foot, out and up, out. Three times. From the top. Oh. Huh? Hey. Hey. Take it back. Double up. Out. Ah. Freestyle. Freestyle. Hey. 
freestyle. Hey, hey, hey. Got over. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You can't ever say it here in Washington Floor Circle. We don't do things this way. We're going to take you out with DR Soul and the DC and All Stars. I think I'm a little winded. I can't be winded. I'm too. Woo. There we go. Double up. Oh, I'm just. Uh. Uh. There we go. There you go. Uh. All right. Uh. Now. All right. Uh. Uh, freestyle, let's have a freestyle. Uh, uh, hey, Look at that. There we go. Hey, hey. <laughs> good job, good job.